Hi everyone, this is Sherry. I got a cute um, quilted fabric book I made journal. And um, here's how thick it is. And it's got like 40 pages, I'm not positive. And so this is a uh, quilted and it's got um, backing inside of it and I just sewed this on and this is a button. You can fasten it with something. And then we open it up and see. And I have, this is quilted too and this is a little dangle. Um, these are all coffee stained pages and this is a little thing here and this is a like a lace trim. I sewed this in and it's sort of a hidden spine, it's a felt spine inside. But as you can see, it's not a perfect job as far as the pages are. You know, you can sort of see the sewing I did here, but it's a junk journal, so I guess I can get away with that, I don't know. So, um, here's the next page, and this is for journaling here, and this is a cute little rabbit thing, and this is, um, some lace trim to put it in there and this is an old bird page and then you've got a little thing for journaling and this is a these are hand dyed ribbon trim and the next page is a uh, some more lace and a cute little tuck spot for this card over here you have uh, felt and I sewed some buttons on. This is an altered paper clip and another little vintage tea card. And you got a rabbit in this and it comes out like that. And it's got some more vintage lace. And the next page has some more. Another little ribbon on here and a little journaling ticket. And let's see the next page. This is like an embroidery, embroidery uh, pocket, and you can put something in it and put that on there. And this is a little envelope that goes in there. Some more fabric and some more hand dyed ribbon and a little ticket. And I sewed around the edges of that. I thought it was kind of neat. And here's another little insert and a little tuck spot in there with some vintage lace on that. It goes in there. Here's another one here. The little ribbon attached to this little ticket. Another insert. And a little vintage stamped image. More journaling space here. A teapot stamped. And this is a little insert here. I stitched this image around the card. And then this opens up. This is from an old trade card. This is all vintage. And this is some ribbon I put here and a little stamped image. And it just folds like this. And that's uh, Baker's Twine. And another stamped image. And these are vintage from vintage trade cards. There's some lace. And this is a uh, vintage trade card. And this opens up. If I can open it up. <laughs> and inside here is another vintage trade card. And this is a little spot you can tuck something in there. And this just closes like this. Close it like that. Or actually. I think it closes like this. Yeah, that's right. And then it closes like that. And here's another one. The little thing I decoupaged it. This cat ticket. And then you can open it up and write inside that with this tuck spot. More journaling area. And this is a little ticket that goes in this tuck spot. This is some fabric squares triangles. Next is some more fabric and a little tuck spot with some vintage lace. 
and a stamped image. And here's another little spot. You lift this up and you can see the little baby ticket under there. The ticket stays there. It doesn't come out. And this is some more fabric. This is a little vintage trade card and I sewed some stuff on here. This little baby. Vintage. Old. and It opens up and shows some more vintage cards. And this is some stuff I added to look like water. And then that folds back in there like that. And then you have another tuck spot and this sort of a vintage guy pops out of it, sort of. Supposed to be funny, I guess. Here's another tuck spot with some vintage lace attached to this cute little ticket of this baby. And here's another one with this girl. It's kind of pretty Victorian girl. And here's another tuck spot with this older guy pops out of that. Kind of supposed to be like funny. And that's the last page. On the back is some more hand stitching I did. Buttons and a little fan that opens up. Kind of goes with these Chinese lanterns. And some more sewing. And you can't, it's a hidden, hidden spine. So inside here is the felt spine and I did some more stitching it to make it look sort of vintagey and then on the back you have some more sewing here around here I put some lace I sewed this on this here kind of you might want to look at that it's sort of layered a little bit here sort of maybe an imperfection I guess and here's the spine you know it's the it's hidden spine you can't see the stitching and the pages are not completely straight, as you can see. Kind of comes out like that. So here it is. It's pretty thick. And I'll be putting this on the Etsy store soon. And I do hope you like it. And thanks for stopping in. Bye.